hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter baby to my chain so for today's video we're going to be talking about why are most african culture so black and white i know y'all already about to attack me i know okay so i was with my girl on the phone you know we're facetiming and we're talking she was helping me bring something she mentioned that she was like you know i was like, i'm looking for another idea of a video i can make and she mentioned this i was like oh yes that is a good one okay but i know my african people will be attacking me especially our parents if they watch this video they definitely attack me so but it's okay guys i'll take it i'll take i'll take the blame i'll take it 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 so yeah you guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe down below it is free make sure you turn the notification bell also you can get a refund every single time i upload a new video if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for your love and support i truly truly appreciate you and yeah you guys let's get started so the very first thing i want to talk about is education when it comes to sexual health right so why do most of our parents feel like it's taboo to talk to their children about sexual health you know why like i really don't understand especially when we reach a certain age i think our parents should feel comfortable enough to sit us down and to talk about sexual health you know talk about you know what it is to you know have sex protection all those things but it is so taboo in most african culture if not all like why you know what i'm saying those type of things make us have to go outside and learn about it mainly make mistakes because we are not educated when it comes to that you know what i'm saying you know a lot of of course, even when you educate your kid, they can still come back home with pregnancies and stuff like that, or STDs, STIs, because they choose to not listen. But it's one thing to, you know, get in trouble for not listening than getting in trouble for not even knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like now, you're in trouble because you're pregnant or you came home with some type of sickness because you weren't educated about it. You know? That's a different level of, you know, of mistake right there, if I shall call that, you know? The punishment you should receive for not listening is a different punishment you should receive for not knowing, not being educated, not knowing better. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you guys, that's the very first thing. Like, we end up having to go to school and learn about it in health class. And even in health class, they're not really in depth. Like, you know, like what you really see outside or hear outside or go through outside, you know, when it comes to that type of thing. I really advise you, if you're a parent, to talk about it with your children. It is not taboo. It is normal. It is something your child will go out in the world and learn about it. And you don't want them to learn about it and make a mistake and come back with a pregnancy or an STI or an STD that cannot even be cured. You know what I'm saying? Something that can affect their whole life forever. So I really advise you to talk about it with your children. I don't think sexual health should be a topic that is taboo. I think it's something that, you know, we should really talk about, you know? And the next topic I want to talk about is their way or the highway. You know, it's either their way or no way, you know? I really think it is also very important to learn how to communicate with your kid especially if the kid can understand you and can comprehend what you're saying or what you're trying to tell them i think it is very important to communicate how you feel and hear where your kid is coming from as well you know because sometimes kids can do things you don't know why they reacted the way they did but then again it's because of something bothering them but they didn't, they're not just comfortable enough to speak about it to talk about it to say how they feel because you are not giving them that that door that window to communicate with you to tell you how they feel you know for example you guys know as my background i'm a social worker you know that's what i studied and most of the time when i had african parents clients for some reason they love bringing my africans to me and i did not mind at all i did not mind at all so when i had african parents coming to me complaining about the children or the child the first thing i would normally do is ask the child where they were coming from with whatever thought depending on what the situation is i want them to let me know what the thought process was like for example some children are being bullied at school and when they get home they bully their siblings and the parent just think oh that's a bad child that's the black sheep of the family whole time that kid is really not the black sheep that kid is just taking his frustration that he's receiving from the school from him getting bullied at school you know and putting it on his siblings at home 
So he's now bullying his siblings, which is not okay, right? So the frustration from school got him bullying his siblings, which is not okay. But I believe if there was that type of conversation, the kid would feel comfortable enough to tell mom or dad or both that I'm being bullied at school, I'm being made fun of. So I really think it is very important to have that window open or that door open so you and your children can have those type of conversation without feeling some type of way, you know? And once again, I believe it's the parents, I strongly believe, I should say, is the parents that should um, make sure that there can be that type of communication. For instance, my mom and I have great communication. I can tell any and everything to my mother and she will not be judging me. She will listen to me. And that really helped our relationship for me growing up to being the married woman I am today. My mom and I, our relationship is still great. You know what I'm saying? But most parents are not like that. That's the honest truth. You know, some people that are closer to their father because their father allowed that window, some to the mother and those that are blessed are really closer to both. They can communicate to both without feeling down, without feeling misunderstood. You know, it is really, really important to be able to just express yourself, especially around your parents. Cause those are the people that really are out here to protect you. You know, if you can have that type of conversation with your parents, what 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 are you guys gonna be talking about what what exactly mm, i don't know so yeah you guys if you're a parent please make sure when your kid is able to understand and comprehend you have that type of conversation let not like don't just make it about your way or the highway you know the kid does something bad trying to understand where the kid came from sometimes they do something bad because they want to be bad i know but sometimes they also have something bothering them and that's the way of of you know taking it out of the heart of the body externalizing it by doing something bad you know I'm not saying it is okay but I'm saying from perspective of a social worker I think most of the issues parents and children have were not gonna be taking place especially in the African community were not gonna be taking place if they had that communication going you know if they had that going and the last thing I want to mention is learning how to apologize to your children or to people that are younger than you because you know we are so used to because you're older or you are an elder or you're grown you cannot apologize you're never wrong that mentality needs to be put aside thrown away burnt that like gone from the world because there is no way you're a human being and you're always right that just doesn't make any sense it really doesn't like you cannot be a human being and you are always a thousand percent right i just it's impossible like i just can't i can't stand people like that you know and that's one thing most of our elder you know that's how they like to call themselves our elder right i go like this because they can just be like your brother or your sister that's just older than you and then they, they say i'm your elder yes you are but at the end of the day you are not my god you know what i'm saying like i'm your elder okay but you're not my god I, that's why i go like this because sometimes they like to act like they are godly they don't they never do anything wrong okay you're my elder i understand but then you can also be wrong as my elder and it's okay to apologize to your children it's okay to apologize to people that are younger than you okay not because you're our elder you are wiser means that you can never be wrong okay so let's please stop the black and white vision the black and white behavior like your way or the highway your way or no way like it is okay to say oh my gosh you are right i didn't see it that way i apologize i'm sorry trust me you saying you're sorry in general will not remove a piece of hair off your head i promise you it wouldn't it would not make you lose weight if you don't want to lose weight. It would not make you gain weight if you don't want to gain weight. It would not do anything to you. That's why it is very important to learn how to apologize, how to say you're sorry. Especially, you know you're wrong, but because you're older, you don't want to apologize. Your ego is just too big. You're an elder, you know, you're wiser. You can apologize. That's another thing they need to kill. Like growing up in an African home, I, I am the youngest in the whole family. Okay? I am. Me. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about here Because you're older than me You are wrong, but I gotta apologize Because you're older than me. You can never accept your mistake Like I know that type of behavior, you know what I'm saying? And that is not okay I think we need to kill that once again throw in the trash burn it do something else with it than having it in this world Okay, so I believe if the African community or culture works on the things I mentioned on this video everything should start getting better especially when it comes to 
parent and children relationship or elders and kids relationship you know what i'm saying there's going to be a bit less of hiding stuff because living here i've been here since i'm 12 years old living here in america i i really see my american friends or you know Caucasian friends being so close to their parents being able to tell anything to both their parents and I'm like you are truly blessed All right, you guys that's the end of today's video Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Don't forget to comment down below any other type of video you like me to film next Let me know also if you would like to see a video about growing up in the African household I'll definitely film that video for you guys as well if you guys are interested Do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms the description box We have all the links to my Instagram Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That helps me a lot. Make sure the notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And it also helps me knowing that you guys are enjoying my content when you guys are subscribing. And for the new subscribers, welcome to the family. For the returning subscriber, you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate you. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.